Camtasia 2020 has this thing called a placeholder. And this placeholder is going to be used more for templates that we'll talk about in the next video. But for now, we just need to realize that a placeholder is going to represent media in the future. We can set it at a certain length, and we can add effects to that placeholder media. And then any media that we drag to pull in will have those same durations and effects. Here in Camtasia, I want to take existing media and turn that into a placeholder. So what I can do is right-click that media and choose Convert to Placeholder. Notice I can also use Control-Alt-P. When I click that, notice now it's kind of empty. It actually shows this placeholder, and it says Placeholder. Well, what does that look like on my video now? Well, here I can see that placeholder in the back. Now, it's going to be easier if I hide this. So I'll go ahead and hide these two tracks so we can see what that placeholder is. And it says placeholder, drag media onto the placeholder on the timeline. Oh, so just like we did before with our videos, we went to our library and we could drag something down here. Now we can put this thing in the placeholder. All right, I'm not going to do that. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the placeholder because you might have a placeholder that you're using for your coworkers. And so here I can say something like video and then give it a note. This is the intro video. Now, when people come here and they see this, they're like, oh, wait, video? Oh, there's a note with it. What does this note say? So they can click on it and say, ah, oh, okay, this is where we can put in the intro video. Or I don't even need to use notes if I don't want to. I can just delete that and say intro video or something like that. Now, if we did have an intro video, we would probably just put that intro video here. Now, notice here on the right, we're on this placeholder properties tab where we can type in that new title. With it, we have other properties that we can change. We can change its scale. Maybe we want this to be larger or smaller. We might want it to be semi-transparent, so we can do that. We can change the gain on the audio side. If this was a screencast, I could go in here and change the size of the mouse and the opacity of the mouse. So these settings I can apply to this placeholder, and then whatever I drag in here will take these same settings. Now, these properties that I have on the right aren't the only things that I can do. I could add some visual effects. For example, I could add color tint. All right, so now the video that I bring in will have this color tint. Let's try it. I'll go over to my library. I'll grab those bokeh dots again, and I'll drag those in to replace. I'll ripple replace. And now I see that purple is applied to my bokeh dots. I'm going to undo those last couple of changes there. So you can add in those visual effects, and we can also add animations. So if I wanted to, I could go to this point in the video, add an animation, and say, at this point, I want you to scale down. Okay, I don't know why I would want to do that, but I could do that, and it would scale down. So let's try that. I'll grab bokeh dots again, drag it in here. I'll, I'll do a replace from start so it stays the same size. And then, sure enough, it stays large here and then goes down. 